understand, despite all of this, that tomorrow, the day of judgment, on the plane of resurrection, how will people lose out? How will people have difficulty uh, on those occasions? How will they be destroyed? They'll have so much thawab for the deeds that we cannot understand. That how um, will we fail? How will we lose out on the day of judgment, on the day of hashr? This cannot be. We don't understand. So why will this happen? Will this actually happen? Is the question. And Nabi al Karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam stated that yes, this will occur. People will be destroyed on the day of judgment. Definitely, they'll be destroyed. And not just that they don't have amal, they will have deeds, many deeds, they will com- practice the deeds, many deeds. Cause that gives the result that we will fail. We should not allow that root cause to take effect. We shouldn't look towards our deeds, rather we should go towards those uh, factors that the Prophet ﷺ said that protect yourself so that you can get all of the rewards for all of the good deeds. And you will succeed totally. And what is that? That Rasulullah has told us. What is that? Subhanallah, what's that factor? Rasulullah sallallahu said that on the day of judgment, people will be destroyed, they will fail. Why? They'll have so many good deeds, they will have committed and implemented in the earth. They'll take those deeds with hereafter, but they will be buried under those good deeds, they will fail. What's the reason for the failure? Rasulullah sallallahu said the reason for this is that Allah Ta'ala's ni'mas, that Allah Ta'ala's ni'mas will be there, but they will not fully benefit from the ni'mas. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, I'll explain. Allah Ta'ala's ni'mas, due to the ni'mas of Allah, those good deeds that the person has committed, they'll be suppressed, they'll be finished, wiped away. Why? Why? Because Allah Ta'ala's ni'mas, so many ni'mas of Allah come upon us, are on top of us, are with us. So many ni'mas Allah Ta'ala has given to us, Allah has bestowed to us, that we can, we'll lose count. There's so many, millions, and the person will come with the good deeds to the hereafter, but the ni'mas of Allah will be so much, they will outnumber his deeds and the his good deeds he will commit it will, will have no... Ca- How are we grateful? How do we implement ungratefulness to Allah for the ni'mas of Allah? That Allah Ta'ala has given us good things, good qualities and resources and using those resources we are ungrateful to Allah. The eye that Allah has given us, the eyes. What is the value of the eyes Allah has given to us? They are... The, eye, the value of the eyes is priceless. They are priceless. And the biggest action of ungratefulness is this, that how do we utilize the eyes? That with the same eyes, we look at bad things, evil things, impure things, dirty things, wrong things. The Allah Ta'ala says, I don't like that you use the eyes to look at bad things, evil things, sinful things. And are we grateful at that time or ungrateful? We are ungrateful. I am now still what we're living. I realize today what we're saying. I should say, I've got my life. I've got at least a life. Do tawbah. The previous sins is forgiven. Say subhanallah. We understand? When Allah Ta'ala said he's understood, I do tawbah. I do tawbah, if I do tawbah, then I get the rewards. And after today, what should be my life? Very simple life. The Allah Ta'ala, everything I do, everything I do from my body, to the money, to the assets you give me, to my business, to my children, totally I will spend according to your system. Totally. On the poor people, the needy, whoever it is, doesn't matter what religion, background, creed, religion, even to those, rizq has to be distributed, food has to be given to them, clothes has to be given to them, mal has to be given to them. Even if your risk is halal, but Allah Ta'ala says that a person, even if he doesn't believe in Allah, he's hungry from your halal earnings, give to that person, say subhanallah, subhanallah. So can anybody become a, a, a Muslim? Can he become a terrorist? Never. A Muslim, peaceful, loving, caring, affectionate, that when we get money, risk, then we shouldn't see this person a believer, non-believer of religion, who does he prostrate to? No, we have no link with that. The person is in need, we don't give him da'wah, that I'm giving you money because I'm going to propagate Islam to you, spread Islam to you. No, no preconditions. That this is the right of this person, he's a human being, we have money, he stood in front of me, he's my neighbor, I will maybe not eat, I will stay hungry, but I will give to this person because you know, no, bring out the Quran, I'm teaching Quran, these are my uh, principles, follow this deen, then I'll give you money, you'll say, run away. Are you coming to give me food or are you coming to get tax from me? No, he should never feel that there are any preconditions. Humanity, everyone is the son of Adam alayhi salam. Someone's gone this way, down this path, down this path. Let's live our lives carefully. Let's tread, uh, tread carefully. Very simple method. Very easy method. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنٌ there's no tax Allah is asking for us, no excess, no oppression, Allah has not uh, given us hardship, rather a very 
easy method Allah has given in the Quran that this is my favor upon you, my greatest favor upon you. Allah says, all the favors are given to you, O human beings. All of the favors and namas are made human beings. Give you eyes, ears, nose, stomach, all the favors. The greatest favor above all of them is that I gave you the opportunity to be a member of the Ummah of the Prophet Wasallam and the opportunity to do his itaba, to imitate him. And the greatest, the most, the most ungrateful person is he who is a mu'min after reciting La ilaha illallah, despite being an ummati of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, despite accepting the Prophet Wasallam, that he, he obeys or he practices the strange ways, other ways. He leaves the sunnah of his Nabi Wasallam and he observes the sunnah of the strange ways, opposing ways. Different methods, different practices. He wakes up in the morning that if you want to repay the favors of Allah, then there's only one tariqah, one method. All those du'as that Rasulullah SAW taught us in different times of the day, every Muslim needs to learn them, memorize them, repeat them, recite them when you wear clothes, eat food, sit in the car, you go to your wife, when you discuss to all of these things are actions. If we recite those du'as with those actions with the Fadl, mercy of Allah, then Allah's favors will continue to descend upon us.